Well, when Kristen Powell was 13, she hopped on a horse. She won a national championship in equestrian, but obviously one horsepower just wasn't enough for her. And six years later, Powell is moving quite a bit faster. And that's why she's in the winner's circle. Drag racing. Now, if that isn't a man's sport, I don't know what is. Hard, rugged, get your hands dirty kind of guys. Rubbing their engines and roaring down the track, right? Well, think again. The first time I decided to race was when I was about 15 and a half and I bought my 67 Camaro. I wanted to race it locally at Woodburn Drag Strip and my father said, well go to Frank Holly's Drag Racing School, you can become a better driver. And about a month before the course, he talked me into taking the Super Comp class, which is actually shorter dragsters. And I agreed and I went to the three day course and by the end of the course I was telling everyone that I was going to beat Kenny Bernstein and I was going to drive top fuel someday and I did it. Kristen Powell is now 19 and considered one of the most promising drivers on the NHRA top fuel drag racing circuit, already establishing a list of victories and track records that has made even the seasoned veterans stand up and take notice. To be a teenager and come out and uh, race with the likes of, uh, say, Kenny Bernstein, Eddie Hill, you know, there's so many good cars out there and uh, to see her come out and do as well as she has and uh, she's a great kid. She's achieved successes that people have taken 10 years to accomplish. So she's well ahead of the learning curve. She's very mature, uh, has some of the best ability of being a driver I've ever seen, and I've worked with thousands of people. I think the reason that I was willing to put Kristen into the car in the first place was that she has an enormous amount of composure. There isn't much that bothers her. Uh, she has the proper level of fear and understands what the car can do. You drive these things by the seat of your pants. I mean, they're like mini rocket ships you strap yourself into. When the car's on a very good pass, you really know when it's going over 300 miles an hour or up in the 310 range. You really know it's on a good pass because it never stops accelerating and you're just flying through the finish line. It's a total rush. But it's not just about the rush or the fun of competition. This is not a kid's game. Kristen started this at 17, but you know there are eight grown men uh, on her team whose livelihoods depend on, her, on how well she drives the car. A lot of people think just because there's one person driving the car that it's not a team effort, but if we didn't have every single person on the team taking care of the car and doing their job, we wouldn't have a winning race car team. And her family is very much a part of that team. My father and my sister come to every single race. They're extremely supportive. My sister backs me up for my burnouts, so she's definitely a necessity on the team, too. It amazes me every day. Every time I see her out there getting in the car when it's so hot, when all these billions of people are coming over asking her for autographs, she keeps her cool, and she does real well. I have two personalities. There's Kristen Powell, the racer, and Kristen Powell, the 19-year-old girl. When I come to the racetrack, it's just a whole new person. and uh, I wouldn't say it's an act, but it's just a different part of me. In fact, there are many parts to Kristen, including the one who's a full-time student at Linfield College in McMinnville, Oregon. My major is psychology, which is, which is pretty interesting because I can try to figure out why all these people drag race. <laughs> it may never matter why Kristen chooses to drag race, and for her fans and those in the sport, well, all they need to know is she's very good at it. No more help. We won't give her any more help. I told her once she won, it was all over. And she beat me that day, too, so that wasn't pretty. Kristen's limit is herself. She's capable of being the very best driver out here. It's just up to Kristen to continue to make progress, and, and with continued progress, she'll be the best driver in drag racing. I think it's important for young people and females to know that they can do anything they set their mind to. And that's how I've always operated. I set goals for myself and I don't let anything get in the way. And it, just because you're a female or a young person doesn't mean that you're handicapped in any way. It can, it can even push you further in life. So set those goals and just try to accomplish anything you want to. Now, just because Kristen likes to drive fast, it doesn't mean she's a speed demon on the highway. In fact, she's a member of the Oregon Department of Transportation's Team Safety. When we come back, we'll talk about a different...